This video is for uh, some of the people that have been asking me why I haven't been doing technology videos. Uh, uh, videos on upcoming technologies, uh, what's probably going to be available, um, some of the really cool stuff that uh, I'm actually talking about all day long while I'm at work. Uh, I've got a client on the table for at least an hour at a time and they have to listen to me. <laughs> um, and most of my clients come to get my massage because I talk about this stuff and they want to get updated and they don't have time to go on the web and and what have you uh, so uh, my clients uh, are willing victims uh, to my ramblings but I've found that the majority of them although enjoying listening to uh, some of the uh, outlandish technologies that I talk about don't believe me for a second. Uh, not quite sure why. I do actually uh, explain the progress and I use the example of course as the cell phone, that's the uh, an obvious one, that 20 years ago there really wasn't any and uh, the ones that did come out in what the late 80s were twenty thousand dollars and were in a giant briefcase and cost thousands of dollars a month just for a phone and now they give them away uh, and uh, they have supercomputers in them and take video and all the stuff that a regular computer did that the computers weren't even available back then so huge advances in a very short time but then when I say something like in one of my earlier videos that uh, I believe that we'll have something similar to iRobot in five years, they go, um, no, no, no. Well, uh, you can do any kind of basic search. There is a robot uh, named Zeno, and uh, he, uh, he does some cool stuff. He moves around and... Uh, uh, has now facial, uh, better facial expressions, uh, and there's uh, programs that they're using to uh, get them to recognize facial expressions as a part of communication, because we use that all the time. Uh, one of the things that I always thought was uh, a little frustrating with uh, robots is that when you ask them a question, or when you see someone ask them a question, they kind of just stare and then react when they get the information. Well, this one they've uh, updated so when you ask them a question, it does what we do when we're thinking. Instead of just staring blankly ahead, processing, it looks, it kind of thinks, and it gives the physical signals of what it's doing. So it's, we, it's, it's a little more human a little more uh, responsive so that it gives cues to uh, signal what it's doing. Uh, and Zeno's going to be out next year as a toy. So you can imagine what professional grade stuff is going to be. Uh, uh, robots that are, or androids that are designed to interact more realistically without a smaller price tag or the durability. Um, but I tell them that uh, I robot in five years and people think I'm living in a dream world uh, I'm, I, I'm not living in reality and I need to uh, or it's funny and they like listening to it but eh, they don't really believe it that's you know kind of out there a bit and then I'll explain uh, the exponential growth uh, theory that Ray Kurzweil uses uh, Moore's Law Nothing, nothing too extreme there when you go back in time and look at just like RAM speeds for computers, it's doubled every 18 months uh, and it's doubling faster now. Uh, and if you uh, go to any of Ray Kur or, Go or Google or YouTube uh, search any of Ray's, Ray Kurzweil's stuff, you'll see him talking about all kinds of fantastic things and explaining how they're going to come about. Uh, the Singularity is Near uh, is a fantastic book and I, I highly recommend that one. Um, 
But I explain that to them, or I talk about where it's going to be, and they think it's very funny. They go, oh, well, you know, that's, you know, a nice dream, and it's kind of, yeah, you know, maybe in a hundred years or way after I'm dead. Which, of course, uh, brings us to another uh, uh, topic that Ray Kurzweil touches on uh, increasingly, is life extension. Uh, the fact that we uh, have completed the human, human Genome Project and uh, can now apply information technology exponential growth factors to the human body uh, and he's able to, or supposedly, and I believe he's accurate, supposedly able to predict exactly when we'll have life extension technology, uh, where we'll be able to stop aging and then where we'll be able to start reverse aging. and. For some reason, and I think it's too well. Other than the religion thing, where they think they have to die first before they live forever. Uh, I think they're trying to avoid disappointment. Uh, something that seems too fantastic to be real, so they don't want to get their hopes up. I, I've, that's the only thing I can come up with as far as a reason for not wanting to explore this technology further. Uh, a lot of people seem to think that the human body is infinitely complex. Uh, I don't know where they get that idea. Uh, we are as complex as we have been for the last, let's say, 50,000 years. And sure, we're probably getting a little more complex as, as we evolve. Uh, but our knowledge is increasing even faster. So as long as we continue to learn a little bit every day, eventually we will know everything there is to know about the human body. And then, of course, be able to use our knowledge to manipulate the human body any, we want, any way we want to. Seems fairly logical. Uh, and there's a technology out there called gene doping. I've done a, a bit of a, a video on that earlier. Uh, and there's you do a search for gene doping and you can see how people are going to be able to program their own DNA uh, take a virus uh, and implant a DNA chain to alter your own G DNA so that maybe at some point in the future you'll be able to have gills for the summer so you can go hiking across the bottom of the ocean or be eight feet tall and blue and I, I don't know whatever shape, size, sex, and this is being done now. So that's not even something they have to believe or you have to believe. It's already being done. So I don't know if talking about it's going to make any difference. And there's also, of course, the bionic eye, the contact lens with the uh, 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 OLEDs, organic light emitting diodes built into them. So these technologies are already here and when I'm talking to people I'm mostly just putting two and two together and maybe getting four and a half because there's stuff out there that's just even more crazy than that. The nano neural interfaces that they're working on for uploading information to the human brain. That's absolutely fantastic technology. So I'm just kind of adding these together. Technologies that pretty much already exist, nothing too crazy, but I'm, I'm putting them together to what it would possibly mean for us. And people have been doing, there's, there's people that are way more educated, uh, way more elegant in their speech than I am. So I haven't been doing those videos. I haven't been talking about the new technologies. Uh, mostly just talking about uh, bitches, what complaints I have, uh, what I don't like, because uh, that's what you do. It's, if you don't complain about things that you like, you complain about things that you don't like in order to help change them. So I may start doing some technology stuff, more than likely not a lot, because there's already people doing some extremely cool things uh, and uh, I'll leave some links to some of the stuff I've been talking about 
uh, if you want me to talk about a certain subject, I will. Uh, but really, it's been done, uh, and uh, better than I think I could do it. So that's why I haven't been doing the technology videos.